Hey guys, it's Ryan, and today I'm going to be knitting a scarf with alternating colors and cables, which is kind of an ongoing dream of mine. Um, a lot of times with knitting projects, you want the best of both worlds, cables and different colors, um, and that's not always possible, or at least not possible in like the kind of clean, easy way that I want to be able to do it in. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be using a new yarn that's just been launched from Wool and the Gang, which they sent me to try out and review. And honestly, I have to say, because I wouldn't say it otherwise or make a video about it, um, it's a really good yarn and I'm excited to show it off. So this is the yarn. It's their new Big Love cotton lineup that's out now. Um, this yarn is 100% organic cotton. It's a chunky weight. And right off the bat, you can feel a difference when you're handling it. It's incredibly soft, easy to knit with, and it has this kind of like, uh, like robustness to it that you, you don't get with many yarns, or you do get with some yarns, but then there's always like a drawback. Either the fiber falls apart easily, or it's super scratchy or whatever. But with this yarn, I haven't run into any of those issues. It just kind of works perfectly. I was hesitant to use it for a cable knitting project because it's kind of a, a leggy yarn, like it's got some give to it, which I'll show you later in the video, but it's not really your typical kind of chunky yarn that's really stretchy. It really holds its build and it's able to kind of take on complex knitting things that you want to do with it. Uh, but I'm surprised at how the cables are turning out. They're holding their shape nicely, even with it being such a chunky, soft yarn. And the cables, I think, are really well defined. Wool and the Gang is also committed to sustainability and really makes an honest effort to keep their impact on the environment down, which you don't get from a lot of other brands, or at least at the level of transparency you have with these guys. So I'm happy to try out this new yarn for them and show you what I've been working on. Here's where I'm at so far. So I've got these four columns of cables, and they're all going this way, making a little arrows and I'm gonna switch colors and I'm gonna switch the directions of the cables um, but before I do that I'm gonna do one more row of cables here just to show you how I'm doing this pattern. So I'm on the front of my work and it's time to do another round of cable changes so I'm gonna jump right into that. My first stitch is a purl stitch because I have just the nice little pearl borders keeping everything in. And then I go straight into my first cable here. So we need to take these three and cable them over here. So I'm gonna take my cable needle and slide these three stitches off onto that and pull them forward because I want this arm of the cable to go to the left. I'm gonna knit three stitches. And then I'm going to bring the cable back up and knit the three stitches off of the cable needle here. There we go. So now we've got another section of the cable that's moving over. Um, my next stitch is a purl because I've got a column of purl stitches going between every set of cables. So I'm just going to purl that one, bring the yarn forward and purl that off. Move the yarn to the back. And now I'm ready for my next column of cables here. It's kind of hard to see because the yarn is so dark, but um, I'm going to take three stitches off here now with my cable needle again, but this time I'm gonna move it to the back because I want this cable moving to the right. So move it to the back and now I'm going to knit off three stitches here. One, two, and three. And then bring my cable needle back up and knit those three off. And there we go. So now I have my first little 
tree. I, I can't remember what this type of cable pattern is called. I'm sure it has an actual name, um, but it kind of just looks like a little tree or an arrow going upwards. Um, so those ones are finished. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for these remaining cables here. So bring the yarn forward and we're going to purl that column of purls here. And then move it to the back. And we're going to knit off three stitches, move it forward, knit three, knit one, two, and three, and then knit the three off of the cable needle. One, two, and three. So that's moved to the left. Then I have one purl left to do. Then I'll scoop off three stitches for this last cable here and I'll move it to the back because we want this cable turning to the right. So there's one, two, three. Then bring in the cable needle, one, two, and three. And then the last stitch is just my last purl for the border. We'll purl that. There we go. So now turning the work around on the back side, we've got this mess. But um, I really like this yarn because it's so thick that even the back side of a cable pattern, it doesn't look as gnarly as it normally would with like a smaller one. And I think with these columns of pearls that I have on the front side, on the back side, they make these nice stripes of stockinette stitch. So it's just a column of stockinette stitches. We've got five of them here and it just kind of has a nice, it's kind of got its own nice little pattern to it. It's got, you know, your normal gobbledy cable stuff here going on in between them, but they're nicely sectioned by these columns here. So it, it looks a little contained. And since this is gonna be a scarf, like obviously you're not gonna see the pretty side 100% of the time. Um, and if that's the case, I mean, the back side doesn't look as bad as it normally would, I think. So to do this backside, um, really easy. Obviously we're just gonna knit the knits and purl the pearls. So our first column here is our first column of stockinette stitches, which is the knit stitch. So I'm just going to knit that one off. And then we've got six stitches that are pearls. So I'm gonna purl those. There's one, two, three, four, five and six. And then I've got one of my stockinettes for the column. So I'll knit that off. And then I go back to six pearls. So I'll purl those. And the good thing about this, I guess, pattern when you're doing cables is I know that my pattern is always gonna be just six pearls and then one knit stitch, six pearls and then one knit stitch, six pearls and then one knit stitch. So no matter what direction or what I'm doing with those cables on the front side, I've got this nice kind of set easy pattern on the back side. I think one of the big things I'm always paranoid about with knitting a cabled pattern is forgetting which things I need to purl, which things I need to stitch on the back side. But with this, you've got this nice kind of guide, um, I guess, with these columns of stockinette stitches. So they keep you from accidentally knitting something that you were supposed to purl or whatever. Now back on the front side, we can see what we've done. So we've added another section of cables here that are going inwards. So two, I guess they're two little arrows or two little trees. 
Um, but I always get bored when I'm doing things like this. So I'm gonna switch it up and I'm going to add in a different color. Um, and I think, I haven't quite made up my mind, but I think I'm gonna change the direction of the cables. So the arrow, it's basically gonna invert itself. So instead of going this way, it's gonna go outwards. So the new color is gonna be in eucalyptus green. So it's a lighter shade of this green um, that I think go really nicely together. So I'm just gonna open that up here. And I'm just gonna go straight into adding this into my work. So instead of this green, we're just going to add the light green here and pretend that we've always been using this color. So. Um, oh, and also I don't need to do any more cables yet. So this is just gonna be straight through knitting. I'm not gonna use my cable needle for this next round. So first stitch is a purl stitch for that column of stockinette stitches. And now I'm going to knit six stitches And then I have another purl here for that column. And then six knit stitches. Purl one. Then knit six. Oops, I almost knit that purl. So purl that column and then knit six. And then the last stitch is purled off. Turning it over, I'm gonna quickly go through the back side and then I'll meet you back on the front side for another round of cable changes. Back on the front side, I've built up that new green color here and it's got a really nice contrast. I think these two colors go really well together. Again, this one is olive green and this one is eucalyptus. So now I'm gonna go in with my cable needle again and I'm gonna have these cables just change directions really. Um, and it's going to kind of reverse the course of these arrows and it will actually make a nice little, I guess, kind of triangle here and on the sides eventually once I build it up. So um, we are gonna jump right into what we were doing before, but it's just gonna be reversed. So first is my purl stitch here on the border. So I'll just purl that one. And then the next three stitches, I'm gonna pick up with my cable needle, but instead of moving it to the, uh, what was I doing, front? So normally I would move it to the front because it would go to the left, but in this case, we're gonna move it to the back, knit these three stitches, and that's gonna change the direction of the cable. So I'm going to knit three, one, two and three, bring back the cable needle and knit these three off. One, two, and three. Then I have my column of stitches. So I'll just purl that column here. It is really good that I have these columns of stitches because otherwise, with cable knitting, I'm always tempted to just like go really crazy with it and have it do crisscrossing and that kind of stuff. So having a nice contained column, having limits is, is good for, for my knitting projects. So this is the next one. I'm gonna pick up these three. Instead of moving it to the back, which would make it go to the right, we're gonna move it forward and we're going to knit three stitches. There's one, two, three. Bring the cable needle back up, knit three off. 
one, two, and three. And then we have one of our columns, so we purl that. And then we have our last little arrows, set of cables. So take off three, and these ones are gonna be moved to the back. Knit three, where's one, two, three. And then knit three off. There's one, two, and three. And I've got my last column here. Pearl that. And my last set of cables, or last single cable. So take off three. And we're gonna move this one forward. I always have to second guess myself. And then knit three off. One, two, three. And then bring up the cable and knit one, two, three. And then my last one is purl. And then we can turn it over and knit the back side. And then I'll show you the front side. The back side, again, with this project, it's always gonna stay the same. So I'm gonna knit my columns of single stockinette and then just purl the rest of them. So I'll go through that and then show you the front. Here's how the front looks now. And now you can really see what the change in direction did. Um, and this will only get more prominent the more layers I build this up. So we've got these cables here and all of a sudden they've changed directions, each one of them. And so now they're going outwards. It's basically just reversed course. <laughs> but what it does is it creates this nice little hole here and then on the sides, it's got this nice little hole. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you wanted to go um, a little more nuts with this, which I am often guilty of wanting to do with cable stitches and cable patterns, you could like continue this in a circle. You could bring these ones in and do some more like cables that are going over each other, creating more of like a braid effect, I guess. Um, but this one I'm using discipline on myself and I'm trying to keep it as simple and kind of uniform as possible. So we're changing directions when we change colors and then um, I'll change directions again when I bring back in this dark green again. So I'm just gonna go through and build this up some more. I'm gonna do those cable changes that I did um, and just keep building it and building it. This next row that I'm gonna do is just straightforward. So there's gonna be no cabling on this one. Just going to purl that first one and then do stockinette for six and then purl for one and repeat until the end of the row. Um, then I'll do the back side and then I'll come up and do another set of cables. Here's what it looks like after doing a couple more cable rows. And now you can really kind of see the difference here. So we've got arrows here and then it changes direction when I change colors. And now I'm actually finished with this light green section and I'm gonna switch back to my dark green and do the same thing. I'm gonna switch to dark green and switch back to this direction and just build the scarf up from there. So that is it for this project really. I'm just going to repeat this pattern over and over again. I'm gonna introduce a dark green, then switch to light, then dark and light. And I'm gonna switch the direction of the cables each time I do it. And this light green section, it really didn't take that long to do. I mean, that's the uh, beauty of this kind of thick type of yarn is you can build something up really quick in a short amount of rows. But because it's this nice, really versatile 
stretchy cotton. You can do things like cable knits and they're still gonna look really nice and uniform. The yarn is again from my friends at Wool and the Gang. It's their new Big Love Cotton yarn that has just been released. It's lovely, it's chunky, it's 100% cotton. It feels great <laughs> and so hopefully this video has inspired you to go check out their new line of yarn, start your own project, and I will see you next time.